Be me a loser. I live a pathetic existence. No friends, no family, no nothing. I often stay in my bedroom, doing not much apart from watching degenerate videos and having the occasional debate on whether whether races are superior to others. So I live a very miserly life. And I've been like this for years, years and years and years. And a few weeks ago, I was doing the, the occasional, the occasional think to myself, and I began to cry. I began to cry because I realised I wasted my life on air and on everything. And in rage, I I was whacking my laptop, and then I accidentally went and pressed on a Jordan Peterson video and he said clean your room and I was shocked by those words I was shocked so I cleaned my rooms and now I have become a Chad and I am extremely high on the dominance hierarchy so to make to make myself feel even better I'd look back I'm gonna look at some neckbeard nets again like I did in January January so first one I'm going to be a bit more light, light-hearted, because it is quite a funny one, probably the funniest one, funniest one here. So the first one is, look at all of these cute bunny rabbits, because there are plenty of them. So first of all, my first question is, why is this, why are these rabbits in a house? And how many are there? Let's count. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 rabbits. My question is, like I said before, like, why is this in a house? Why why didn't the person bring bring the bunnies outside instead of bring them in? And I swear there's like, there's sawdust on the floor, so for some reason this guy didn't want to have his, has have, let's say, call him a guy, his rabbits in a house. So, yeah, it is a bit more it is a more wholesome than new than viewable ones that we're going to see. But uh I don't think it it is the best thing to do because like what happen if you accidentally step on one of your bunnies? I bet there is like a at least like three dead bunny rabbits here, like just rotting in a corner because Jesus Christ. Uh and the thing is though, like what well, this is like Gravol's neck business actually. What do you, they must have died, like, in the state that they live in, they must have been dead. But, like, the th funny thing is, though, that they are new, like, tenants in this house. Like, there is someone probably living here right now. And I have no idea it used to be like this. Like, like the house is probably haunted by bunny rabbits. So, anyway, uh, it's a bit more nicer than the other ones. A bit more friendlier. Still not the best looking house. I wouldn't want to live there. So... Uh, next one. Do you all remember in my last neckbeard nest video where I showed you the guy with all the Stella cans in his living room, I believe? Well, this guy has a similar situation, but it's just a whole entire room covered in cans of Mountain Dew. So, yeah. Uh, there's not much you can say about this, so, like, like, I don't... You have to respect it. You have to respect it, because that dedication... It was dedication... Yes, but the thing is, though, like, that must be a nightmare to clean up. It must be. Like, 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 people with a diet just drinking my Mountain Dew are probably dead. So, like, so, like, the cleaners afterwards must have been, like, only spending a good two hours in this room just picking up Mountain Dew cans. So, not much, there's not much you can say about this, though. But, uh, there's, like, a, there's a blue Mountain Dew can in and the bottom corner which is interesting so anyway there's not to not much you, much you can say about this I, I to be fair i don't mind mountain dew it's not my best pick for a sugary drink but it's all right uh but to not mind i say i spur a dr pepper personally but anyway on to the next one the first thing i want to point out is that why is there like just two mattresses on the floor very close to each other as well so I don't know about that. Are they like twins there? Because someone must have taken the picture. So I, so I believe that they're just two twins who live together. Uh, this the guy here is 
doing something like playing a game, I think. I don't know what the game it is. Uh, he he is very dedicated to it though. That he hasn't even noticed that his pants are halfway down. So he doesn't. So he so he's he's paying a lot of attention on the game. Uh, this one isn't even that bad to be honest. It's just like really bizarre, just because of a guy, because of a man, just his shirtless with his trousers halfway down. That that won't make it more weird if anything. And it's also kind of morbid as well. Like you kind of want to know like what's going on, like the context of it. So it's kind of creepy in a sense. That it's like like someone took this picture for some reason. So it's not just like this guy's house. Someone took it. So it's not. It's kind of weird and spooky in my opinion. I should have given you a warning before showing showing you this, but I don't care. Like Jesus, like. What man, what man would ever want to do this? Because this is actually disgusting. Like it's like nails and like hair, and like like one of the computer buttons. Like, like why? What purpose is them? Like I think like dandruff around it as well. That's disgusting. That is actually disgusting. Like, this is what mental illness look can look like. Trust me, this is what it looks like. This man is deranged. This is. Is this like? Does this keyboard belong to the Joker? Because that that is something that he would probably do. I could imagine him doing that. <sighs> I'm not gonna. This person doesn't deserve my time. On to the next one. I. F I find this one actually quite fascinating because you can see two different kinds of Mountain Dew cans. Like I believe the white one was the old design, and the green one is the new one. So like you, you kind of like very like evolution of Mountain Dew, and you can see, and of course um, you can see the guy who ordered a pizza playing on a, like a PS One or two. So this is an old image. This is an old image. Uh, so yeah, he's having a good life. So he seems to have, be having fun. He's he's on the sofa instead of a bed. So so he's dedicated. So I can imagine him st still to this day on on that couch playing on his PS two or one. Because I really doubt that it's a PS three because it actually is wired. So yeah. Mm. He's lot lot of these thing with these neck being that like they are like dedicated to something or, or obsessed with something like lots of these people are like obsessed with like Mountain Dew, you know, anime, etc., or gaming as a whole. So these people clearly are like extremely autistic and need like psychiatric help. So anyway, uh, I kind of respect this one. Uh, he's having his pizza. He's ordered a pizza. Having it all to himself like a king. So anyway, on to the next one. They are two options to this. The bottles are either juice or piss. I, f I personally believe in the second one is more likely. I don't want to believe that, but I think it is. Because, like, I don't know many people are just, like, getting juice bottles and putting in, like, water bottles. So this is piss, and, like, I'm not even going to bother counting it because I'm going to be here for ages. But, like... The piss is like red, so it's sort of like, is that what urine looks like after like months or years? It becomes like red or black. So, yeah. Um, I don't know, this guy could be in poverty because the reason why he's pissing in bottles is that because he can't afford the water bill, so you have to piss in bottles instead of like going to the toilet, which is kind of sad. I would want to believe that, but personally, I just think the person can't be asked to go, so he just pisses in his bottles. <sighs> what can you say to this? Okay, this one is kind of interesting, to be honest, because these are like quite old computers, aren't they? These are quite old ones. So, like, there's some like code on the left computer and, and the other, like, I believe that's the television, actually. So it's quite an interesting one. It kind of looks like a Kind of looks like a, an operating room of some sort, doesn't it? But he's like covered in like lewd anime posters for some reason. Like I have no idea why anyone collects them. That's just like degeneracy, isn't it? 
So it's weird, very weird. Hmm. It's like a... Yeah, you have like a... You have like a PC, I think, in the corner. In the left corner. And it has something like a bear on the right corner as well, so... This person, I believe is like... I could imagine this being some like... Insane person trying to take over the world, to be honest. Like, it looks kind of like an evil lair. Doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, it does. Uh, I, I have to give him, I have to knock him a few, a few points off, though, because, like, you can see he's, like, actually putting, like, anime, like, lewd posters on, on the ceiling, but he hasn't finished it, so I have to knock him a few points off there. Because if you are going to do this, I don't agree with it, but if you are going to do it, at least dead, at least stick to it and actually fully go through with it. So, I have to knock him a few points off, I'm afraid. This is another person who likes anime, but... He is, is more fond of the figurines rather than the posters. So yeah, uh, he he has lots of like figurines, don't he? Of like anime characters. I'm not sure which ones they are. He has one on the table near his PC, like a display case of them. To display, he has some on the top of the display display case. So it shows that he probably kind of got too obsessed with buying stuff, like buying stuff. So. By like, you know, like figurines, whatever they call them. What are they called again? Like they are called like anime figurines. I'm not sure, but like so, like you think I think got obsessed. You know what I find f funny about this? That these people in love are like, let's be honest. They live in a sh this person, especially lives in a shithole. Shithole. Like there's no paint on the walls. It's like I think it's like a cellar of some sort. But the thing is though, like I know that anime figurines. Are like eighty pounds a pop, I think. So like, so like, these must be at least in like going close to a thousand at least. No, I think even more than that. I think something like cost like one hundred and thirty pounds. So quite a lot. And they also like this person has like writing on the wall like get out. And what does it say like throw your feel to? It's covered by the anime figures, so I don't know what that means. I really don't like the posters though, to be honest, because. I'm pretty sure that one, the main one of the girl, that looks like a child, so uh, I think someone needs to go through this person's search history, because I think this person needs to go to jail. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, there's a little cup, there's a little mug near the television, I think it is, a very weird TV. Uh, yeah, the... The desk, the desk chair is a bit ripped, so you might need to get a new one. There's two monks actually, two of them. One near the, near the computer, so yeah. So you are probably thinking now, this is what I call high-end media. What is your conclusion on all of these neck business? My answer to that is, clean your room. 